I've been getting really into these AI video generators recently. I actually bought the $200 a month pro uh, open AI plan so I could have unlimited Sora access, which you can see on the left. But polo.ai reached out to me and asked me to take a look at their AI video generation tool. It's kind of actually a similar price, and I wanted to kind of spend some time with it and compare prompts between the two. So let's just jump right in. I'll show you some of the pros and cons between each of these AI video generation tools, and we'll jump right in. First off, let's just talk pricing. Again, I told you I am on that pro plan at $200 a month. I am not going to keep it. I just did it for one month to test out. I've used up all of my priority credits, but OpenAI allows you to have unlimited relaxed videos. It's just a little bit slower in the queue, but it's really not bad. Uh, if you go to GPT Plus, which is what I'm going to go back to, 20 bucks a month, up to 50 videos, but kind of lower resolution. We'll take a look at what that looks like. Now, as we look at Polo, their pricing on the pro mode kind of starts at 800 credits a month and that means 80 standard videos. And that's kind of like a low quality, I think 480p uh, type of video on their standard model, but it goes up to like maybe 80 or 100 credits per video if you really want the high quality stuff. And you can see how this really ramps up. So 200 a month for OpenAI versus maybe 169 a month for, it says 1,000 standard videos, I'd say closer to maybe 100 really high quality videos. So there's a look at pricing, but let's look at the quality. Now they have a few different ways to generate video and it's different from OpenAI's Sora. So with Sora, I really can just go ahead and describe my video. I have a few different settings here in terms of aspect ratio and resolution and length and variations. And I can upload a image or video. With Polo, I can do image to video, consistent character video, which is really interesting. Text to video, which is standard, or video to video. Let's take a look first at text to video because that's pretty standard in terms of what I was testing with Sora. You can see I've already done a few different things here. And let's just start prompt by prompt. I'll show you a few comparisons. We've got on the Polo 1.5 model. And by the way, you can see here, we have different models. I'll go through that in a second. On that model, we tested giraffe wearing red tennis shoes walking down the aisle of a crowded plane. And here we go. And I'm gonna put the same prompt from Sora on the left. And immediately what I'll tell you is the resolution looks better on the left here. The details of the different uh, people sitting on the flight, <laughs> this guy's sitting backwards, but that's fine. Uh, it just looks like kind of a smoother type of animation of this giraffe. Versus here on the right with Polo, the giraffe is kind of walking away from the camera. It looks a little fuzzy. But let's get into a few more comparisons. This from Sora is cat that looks like a skinny teddy bear wearing a suit doing a slow dance. And here's the same thing from Polo. The detail again looks really good on Sora, but I think I actually like the look of this cat on the right from Polo a little bit more, except again, it looks a little bit fuzzy. And I think that's because of this model we're using. It's a little bit limited on the resolution. Here we have from Sora, fat cat that looks like a teddy bear crying while holding a doll in the street. Same prompt here on the Polo 1.5 model. I'll let you make your own judgment there. Another thing that I've realized that Polo doesn't do as well is going to be text. So here I was trying to do an intro text graphics for tech focused YouTube channel called Himmel's Tech. That's me. And we can see here, it just doesn't do text well. Meanwhile, Sora actually kind of got it. Himmels, but it couldn't do the tech part. So, I mean, a fail on both, but closer with Sora. And I'll show you a couple more. Here are some more recent prompts that I did. We've got FPV drone flying quickly through a dense forest. I mean, I think OpenAI kind of has it right here. And meanwhile, we have this, I mean, it's not exactly an FPV drone, but I mean, it looks pretty good. Just a very different vibe. This is more of like an FPV feel to it on the left of Sora. And now something kind of interesting. There are, as I said, different models you can choose from. You have Polo 1.5, Kling, Kling 1.6, Vidoo, all, all of these different ones you can choose with different settings for each. When I tried to use Polo AI for this one right here, which again, I'm pulling up the same thing on the left, We've got 
human figure made out of hundreds of strands of copper doing a hip hop dance in a white room. This one from the Polo model said, do not enter sensitive or harmful content. That doesn't seem harmful, harmful to me, but I went ahead and put that in the cling model. And this is what we've got. I'll show you a live comparison here. So I think both of these are pretty interesting. Again, just for like the colorful animation, I think I got to hand it to Sora again here. But here is where I think I'm done giving Sora the, the wins. I want to talk about some cool things from uh, Polo. Now, here is an interesting way we can test some new models. And I'm actually going to bring this over. I tried to do a follow shot of an astronaut flying towards the Earth with a jetpack. Again, here's that Polo 1.5 model. Not bad. I think that actually looks really nice. But you can use, again, these different models. So I gave the same prompt to every different model. So here's Polo 1.5, which we just looked at. Here's Kling 1.6, same prompt. I mean, I think not as good. The animation's a little bit weird there. The jetpack, uh, it just looks a little strange. Now we're on to Kling 1.0. That actually looks pretty cool. Seems like he's going more away from Earth almost. Oh, he just went over, okay. Now we've got Vidu 1.5. I think this one is maybe more towards like animation. The style is general, it says, but ooh, I don't know about that. Very cartoon-like. Here we have Halilu. That one actually looks pretty cool. I mean, that looks like a real astronaut there. Luma. Interesting. I don't really see a jetpack, and uh, he's facing away from the Earth, so. Not quite right on following the prompt. Picks first. That looks cool. That might be one of my favorite. Even though he's facing kind of away from Earth, that's kind of cool. And he got some weird artifacts in the Earth there, but I, I like that look. Picks first version three. I think this is supposed to be one of the higher quality models here. Really nice details on the astronaut. So that's kind of going to be a look at maybe one prompt for a bunch of different models. Now, let's look at a few different things we can do though. Consistent character creation. Now this is where it gets interesting. Sora doesn't really have an option to do something like this. I found a few little uh, pics of myself, which we'll try. So I want to give three good kind of face pictures to the model. All right, we got three pics of myself. I'm going to say, a man in a suit walking towards the camera in a busy city. There we go. And we'll do 16 by 9. Let's do an 8 second video. And by the way, so 4 seconds, we can make it 1080. If we want to do 8 seconds, it's got to be 720. Let's try 1080, give it the highest resolution. Motion range. So it kind of tells how much movement you can have. Let's make it medium because I am walking in this video. So here we have a couple of options here in regarding to uh, visibility in the community. Uh, here you can just pause and read if you want public visibility. Uh, it's going to tell you whether or not this can be shown in the explore feed, which you can see up over here. I'll, take, I'll show you that in a minute. And then copy protection. Other people won't be able to see your upload images and prompt for the generation. So it depends on how... Uh, KG you are about you know, sharing this type of info. And also, uh, this is 100 credits right here to make this consistent character video. We're gonna go ahead and create this. And while this is loading, I'll show you one more thing. This took longer than expected to make, so I forgot to get back to it when I was doing the original shoot, but this is the full clip. We can have multiple videos being generated at the same time uh, when we are um, kind of playing with this tool. So let's do... Uh, a man swimming with the dolphins and fishes. Let's just, I don't know, we'll see how that looks. Let's just do 720 and make it a little bit less credits, a little bit quicker. One thing I will note is it does seem to take a little bit longer to generate video uh, on Polo versus Sora. So we will take a minute and wait for this. If we go back to the explore feed, here we can see kind of a lot of different things that the community has made. If you hold your mouse over, you can kind of see the movement of each video. So that's fun. And then if you click on one, see copy protection enabled, 
copy protection. So you got some protection there. You can't see exactly what they prompted. Here you can see exactly, this is the squish effect. So this is a template. So what are templates? I'll show you that. So here you can kind of mouse over any of these and see a template for what you can do, you know, it kind of custom prompts for your effect. So you got all these like interesting videos. Let's do the muscle generator. I upload just this black and white portrait image of myself. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and create that. We'll see what that looks like. And let's try one more template for fun. I like squish effect here. I gotta try to find a picture of my dog. Okay, my dog's uploaded. We're gonna do a little squish here with him. In the meantime, let's also try image to video. Here we can choose whatever model we want. Um, I really, re I remember liking these Halo AI. So let's try this. And I put up this image of my coffee. So just for fun, let's see. We're gonna go like this. And then we're gonna say, a small sailboat is making its way through a coffee, causing waves of foam to flow away from the boat. All right, we'll create this. In the meantime, let's see, we got a few things here. First off, okay, here is the character generation. Oh boy. <laughs> so here we go. There's me swimming with the dolphins. I mean, the, it actually does kind of look like me. I think that does a good job of doing, uh, yeah, of showing <laughs> the uh, me and the dolphins. Yeah, I wasn't even going to mention, I feel like the chest hair is actually kind of accurate, <laughs> even though I, there's no images of that. I don't know how I got that. We can also upscale. So we can do all the way up to 4K scale. It's interesting, credits required is not changing, no matter what I do. And then mode, standard mode. Let's just keep it standard. Let's create that and see what happens. All right, we've got the muscle generator. There you go. I mean, <laughs> it's a little ridiculous, but it does, again, a good job of like making movement with this original photo. Not bad, not bad at all. Squish effect. Again, that's pretty good. I think I'd prefer to maybe find a better picture of my dog to test this again, but yeah, like I think that does a great job. I also want to make sure I show you video to video. So let's see what we got here. All right, this one won't be as fun. This is already an AI video I was working on, um, but I'm gonna upload this video and we're gonna do uh, all these different options. Paper folding looks interesting. And then the prompt, how do you want to be restyled? We'll say, make it very colorful and turn the cats into dogs. Let's see, I mean, that's like kind of a little crazy there. We'll see. Video length, we'll make it uh, seven seconds. And we have all these different options here. Again, you can pause and take a look, but we're gonna create that. In the meantime, we have this new image to video updated. Yeah, that's not doing as good of a job. The boat doesn't really come out till midway through. So that's maybe a little bit of a fail. Going back to uh, this feed right here, we can also see, we can create similar videos. So this guy, we already kind of made that with the dog template, but if we create similar video, you can see here AI squish effect. So it kind of puts that all in there for you. It even saves that image. We can move our own image in there though as well. So that's kind of a way to get kind of inspired by that explore feed. And then you also have AI tools and you can see all of these. You can pause if you want to read all of them, but something like AI video filter, and you can see how you'd be able to kind of change the style of any video, which is pretty neat. Okay, I got a video to work here. It's just a video of my dog. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this into, how about claymation enhanced video length? It's a 12 second video. It's interesting, it can go up to 30 seconds, but let's keep it at you know, 11 seconds here. And then we will create that. In the meantime, this is the upscale video. And I can tell because it says video upscaler. So let's click this. And then uh, my screen recording is a little bit limited, but this is gonna go full screen. We can still see 
there we go. So that's me upscaled in 4K. Now that it's really kind of zoomed in a bit, I'm starting to see a few issues with this video, but I mean, it generally is doing a pretty good job of showing my face there. Uh, so I would say pretty impressed with that. While that's working, I do wanna show you one more thing in terms of the differences of these different models. So you can tell with Polo 1.5, all we have is a prompt, which by the way, we can generate with AI, anything about your video. Okay, let's see if we continue. it's gonna make kind of a better prompt for us and you can generate more, so that's a pretty cool feature. Sora does have a similar feature as well. We can change the aspect ratio, of course, and that's about it. Now, if we go to Kling, we have some more things, more creative, follow the prompt more, video length, negative prompts, so there's a few more options. And here with Kling 1.0, again, still generate with AI, but we can do standard, professional mode, a little bit higher quality, longer generation time. Same thing with aspect ratios, again, creative versus prompt, and then length. Vidu has some different styles, general or animation. Now you can go up to 1080 with this one. Motion range, you can pause if you want, and then different aspect ratios. Halu is not really much at all. 50 credits though, some of those other ones were like 10 credits, so I'm assuming kind of higher quality in general. Luma allows for a lot of different aspect ratios, even an ultra, well, not quite ultra wide, but 21 point by nine. Picks first, again, you have like this performance, normal, different video links and camera control. Again, you can pause. Camera movement options, different seeds. I don't know as much about this. Negative prompts again and then Pixverse first version three. You got all sorts of different styles. Again, different performance modes up to 540p, different ratios, seed and negative prompt again. So depending on how uh, advanced you are with this, there's a lot of different options here compared to Sora where it's a little bit just more, we'll call it user friendly. Uh, there just are not as many options you can choose from. And as these last couple videos are finishing up, I will mention that uh, you can do a free trial of this service. You can generate two videos for free. And then when you're a paid user, you can do multiple tasks simultaneously, pretty much anything that you've seen me doing. But again, just make sure you understand that it can get pretty expensive depending on how many generations you want to do. But for a professional, I mean, absolutely. I think it's in a fair price range and it's pretty similar to Sora. And I'll also mention real fast that you can reprompt or regenerate any of these. So if I reprompted this video, it will automatically upload a portion of that video and then I can kind of change the mode, which is pretty interesting. Oh, okay, and so this regeneration, I didn't really click anything. It just, it just is now regenerating to just do like another try at it. Ooh, okay, we got a new one, video to video. If this one is supposed to make a claymation. <laughs> there you go. That's a little trippy. Kind of interesting there. So if you want to do something kind of artistic, that shows you the claymation uh, video to video. And I think I'm going to call it there. I've tried a bunch of different features with this tool. I think it's really cool, actually. Uh, this versus Sora, it's a close call depending on exactly what you want to be doing with these AI video generation tools. This one gives you a lot more options to kind of tweak and use different models, while Sora might just be a little bit more straightforward. I think if you're kind of new in this space, trying to figure out what you can do with AI video generation, great to use all sorts of tools and just figure out what works for you because different tools are work for different people. Uh, but that's about it. Thank you for watching. If you guys have questions about these tools, I'm happy to answer. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And real fast, it finally worked. Here we have the cats turning into dogs and very colorful. Well, there's still cats, I think, but there you go. Last one to look at. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.